Welcome to Pixarize a scene for Porphyria cutanea tarda, or PCT, part of our series on the Porphyrias. This scene takes place in a grimy, fetid bathroom where a very pretty, glimmering fairy is hoping to evacuate her magical bowels. If that doesn't get you hooked, I don't know what will. So, without further ado-do, let's... I'm sorry. Let's just get started. First, let's take a look at our fairy. Upon closer inspection, I don't think this is actually a fairy. It looks like what we've happened upon is a little girl dressed as a fairy for Halloween, or maybe she's just dressed that way because little girls do that sometimes. That makes a lot more sense because if she was a real fairy, I don't think she'd need to go to the bathroom, and she definitely wouldn't need to do it in this rotten hole. The fairy is our recurring symbol for Porphyria, or Porphyria, and she's looking to drop a turd to remind us of Porphyria cutanea tarda. Porphyrias are conditions of defective heme synthesis, and PCT is one of the three major porphyrias you need to know for step one, along with lead poisoning and acute intermittent porphyria. PCT is actually the most common out of the three. Is remembering Porphyria cutanea tarda as Porphyria cutanea turda a crude and childish mnemonic? Yes. Do you get points off on step one for being immature? No. Just accept it and we can move on. Okay, take a look above our little Porphyria fairy at the air freshener. Its pulsatile spritzes of lemon zest scent are failing to overcome the hideous stench of this public restroom. Its random, or sporadic, spraying should be able to remind us of sporadic inheritance, since around 80% of PTC cases are caused by sporadic mutations rather than typical familial patterns. Now take a look inside that toilet bowl. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not exactly keen on that idea either, but this is for the sake of your education, so buck up. See those soggy, urine-soaked cardboard boxes? Well, cardboard boxes are a recurring symbol for carboxylase enzymes, and tattered cardboard boxes are a symbol for decarboxylase enzymes. And all that urine will help us remember uroporphyrinogen. Taken all together, this toilet full of putrid cardboard should help us remember uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase, the defective enzyme in PCT. Uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase is a cytoplasmic enzyme in the heme synthesis pathway that converts uroporphyrinogen 3 to coproporphyrinogen 3. Geez, these names are rough. Since uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase is defective in PCT, uroporphyrin builds up in the cell, and you can easily remember this by remembering all of the uroporphyrin urine overflowing from our clogged toilet and urinal and pooling in front of our poor Porphyria fairy girl. All she wanted to do was drop an innocent turd. Isn't that all anyone really wants? On to the presenting symptoms for Porphyria cutanea tarda. Let's start with the cutaneous symptoms, since, you know, it's in the name of the disease. Take a look at the back walls of the bathroom. See those multicolored stains on the walls and all of that peeling paint? These are to represent the photosensitivity and hyperpigmentation on the skin that those with PCT can experience. Next, look in between the two peeling paint blistering walls. Seems whoever trashed this place had been drinking pretty heavily. These empty bottles of alcohol are oddly fitting here, even though I'm not sure what kind of freak gets trashed in a bathroom. Probably the same type of freak that shoves cardboard boxes into the toilet. Anyway, these alcohol bottles are here to remind us that PCT is exacerbated by alcohol, since, you know, alcohol is something that makes your tarda turds worse. Now, let's get back to that overflowing toilet bowl. Because I know how eager you were to get back to this overflowing toilet bowl. Patients with PCT will often present with tea-colored urine, and if we look inside the toilet, we can see that someone has left tea bags in there along with all the decarboxylase cardboard. Now all the urine is tea-colored. Who does this kind of thing to a bathroom? I bet it was teenagers. 
it's always teenagers. The tea color in the urine of PCT patients is a product of all of that accumulated uroporphyrin, which has a light reddish tinge. Finally, look to the right of the toilet and notice that fun hippo-shaped urinal. Somehow the addition of this child-themed urinal just makes this otherwise filthy scene sadder. I kind of want to donate money to restoring this bathroom. I know it's not a real bathroom, but it's getting to me. I'll link you guys to the GoFundMe page if you want help out too. This hippo urinal is meant to represent hepatitis, or hepatitis, and its C-shaped flush handle will remind us of hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is the last condition associated with Porphyria cutanea tarda that you'll have to remember, so we can finally ditch this place and go take a shower. Alright, all done. We've inspected our uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase cardboard and teabag tea-colored urine, brushed up against the peeling, poop-stained walls of cutaneous hyperpigmentation and photosensitivity, tripped over some PCT-exacerbating liquor bottles, and poured one of them out for that desecrated hepatitis C hippo urinal. Finally, we can help this Porphyria cutanea tarda turd fairy find somewhere to do her business and get back to getting signatures for a petition to condemn this squalid squat stop. Until next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.